I'm Chris Hansen, and I'm here to talk about the uh, CW90 and the CW90X over and under check wires. Uh, we have both units here. Uh, we have the CW90X and the CW90. The CW90X uh, features a piezo keypad, uh, which is a, a keypad that has uh, no moving parts. It is uh, designed to withstand uh, knife cuts. You could uh, actually stab the zero button on this unit and uh, it would not stop functioning and it would not ingress water. The CW90X is IP69K rated. The CW90 has a membrane style keypad and if you uh, looking at the front here the differences you can see that the CW90 has one through nine and an enter button on the keypad. Uh, this unit is IP66 rated. One thing that the uh, two units have in common is the, the uh, breather vent. Uh, the back of each unit there is a breather vent installed that um, allows the pressure inside the indicator case and uh, the outside of the case to be equalized. Um, typically these units will be installed in a hostile environment. Um, you know, for example, uh, maybe in a real cold area and uh, then it would be uh, washed down with um, you know, high temperature, high pressure water. By use of the vent, um, you have the pressure equalized and uh, water is not wicked in past the seal uh, in the unit. Uh, very, very important uh, feature and uh, a feature that allows us to uh, get that IP69K rating. The uh, wireless option, one, one of the options for the uh, CW90 or the 90X is uh, wireless. Uh, on this particular CW90X here, the wireless option is installed. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the large cord grip in the middle, uh, that's, uh, you see a little bit of the antenna sticking out. Um, that is a really clean, uh, really clean looking insulation for a wireless installation. Um, the rest of the uh, wireless option is actually enclosed in the, in the case itself in the IP69K environment. Um, you're still able to rotate the indicator back and forth uh, in its column without any obstruction uh, with a little bit of antenna sticking out. So uh, that's a real, a real nice looking wireless option. The um, load cell uh, cord grips on the unit are also designed to um, Know, to get us that IP69K rating. We'll talk a little bit now about the, the board, the main board in the, in the units, um, and some of the, uh, the uh, connections and options that are on them. Um, all the connectors on the CW90 or the 90X, uh, same main board, are um, the uh, cage style. So uh, what, what that is, is they're, they're all uh, kind of spring-loaded, they're spring-loaded, so there's a constant uh, tension, a little bit of tension put on all the connections of all the wires. Um, that's extremely important if you're in any kind of environment where there's a vibration or uh, sometimes drastic changes in temperature can, can cause something like that to loosen up. But with this style of connector, that doesn't happen. So uh, that's, that's uh, really nice connectors. Uh, the uh, first connector that's highlighted there is the load cell connection. Uh, that's where your load cell would be connected. Uh, the um, the second connector is one of the uh, COM ports. There's uh, two COM ports uh, standard on this unit. Uh, that's the RS-232 full duplex port. Um, the next one highlighted here is RS-232 or 20 milliamp. There's also four digital I.O. on the main board. Um, it's kind of, this has a nice feature above, above that connector uh, for the digital I.O. There are uh, four bright LED lights. Uh, that come on when that output is actually tripped. So uh, uh, that's a really nice feature to, to, to see, be able to see that, have a physical evidence that it's tripped. Um, if you talk a little bit about uh, COM3 here, where the, uh, that is our, it's an optional uh, connector you could put on some of the option boards there. Uh, on this particular unit, we had, of course, the wireless is installed in this one, uh, but it wouldn't have to be a wireless option. Uh, you could use a direct USB to serial or uh, uh, fiber optic could be installed there. I'm kind of looking at uh, some of the jumpers that are on the main board. Uh, the one highlighted right now is uh, for your sense lines. So that would be if you were using a four wire or six wire load cell connection. That's where you would select uh, use of sensing or not. Um, the second one highlighted here is uh, 
for uh, firmware updating. Uh, one of the real exciting things about uh, the CW90X or the CW90 is the ability to uh, update the firmware by flashing it. So uh, you would do this, uh, it would be accomplished by using our Revolution 3 software. And uh, you could just flash the firmware and that's the jumper that would allow you to do that. Uh, the next uh, jumper that's highlighted is the PC control or the uh, power control. Uh, this unit has a, a power button on the front and um, if you press that button you can toggle the power on and off unless you move the position of this jumper. Um, that's, that's important in, in some instances you may not want uh, somebody to turn the power off of the unit and it would be on at all times. Um, for instance, you know, with the wireless option, maybe you're, um, uh, you know, grabbing weight information to a PC somewhere, and you don't want anybody cycling power. So yeah, that's that's what that jumper is for. Uh, the next set here is for uh, configuration. So um, we also, if you look on the other side of the keypad, you've got a menu uh, button. Uh, Any time that menu button was pressed uh, with that um, with that jumper on, you could go through all the menu settings. Um, you know, audit trail, this, this unit has an audit trail, so you go through the audit trail and uh, the configuration and the setup and calibration, all the menu settings would be available to you. Um, of course, in many instances, you don't want all the menu settings to be av you know, available, so uh, you would remove that jumper, and uh, then when the operator pressed the menu button, uh, he would just be able to see the audit trail, the time and date, and uh, the brightness of the display, and exit. Um, when the technician wanted to calibrate or get into configuration, you would then uh, remove a, uh, an access screw that's at the bottom of the case and uh, would, um, it's a standard um, Rice Lake push button to get into configuration then. I'll talk a little bit about the, um, the uh, bases themselves and uh, in particular the load cells. The, um, the CW90X uses a um, medically sealed stainless steel load cell. Um, of course, that's IP69K rated. The CW90 uses an aluminum style load cell that is environmentally sealed, and that is IP66 rated as a unit. The uh, another another feature on the bases is the the, the feet themselves. Um, there are six feet on the unit. There's one in each corner of the base, and then two at the back of the column. Um, the the rubber that's around the feet actually extends up up the threads um, of the foot itself. So these units are NSF approved, you know, uh, food grade, uh, clean room type environment. Uh, so what happens there, the reason that's important is when you've installed this, uh, this unit in your environment and you've got it where you want it and uh, you've got it leveled and uh, you're going to take those jam nuts on the feet and tighten them up, uh, when you do that, there is still no exposed threads. Uh, further, you know, the, the open design of the base itself, uh, you know, in a washdown environment, everything just washes right through. It's uh, all open in the bottom. Uh, there are uh, five overload stops on the unit, uh, one in each corner, and then one in the middle on the bottom of the cell. And um, the column itself is... Um, designed in a way that everything washes off. Uh, it is all angled, you know, it's all angled design. Um, it's actually um, it's actually installed with four large bolts here. There's two bolts at the back and two underneath. Uh, you know, very rigid, plus the two feet at the back of the column. So uh, real sturdy and real rigid and a thick gauge. It's a standard 12 inch height, uh, but that could be customized. Uh, thank you very much. That concludes the uh, CW90, CW90X uh, over and under check wire presentation. Thank you.